already tripping. by bringing out Carl, the town drunk. And Darren, GW's youngest son, with them. I passed out six hits of acid I had left to the six people who hadn't taken any yet. Ruby and Goldie figured, what the heck, they might as well try it once. A couple of them wanted to pay me for the acid, but I said just forget it. Enjoying the perfect fall day outside. Skylar picked up a walking stick along the way and was juggling it, flipping it into the air and catching it. He was hanging upside down from a low-hanging branch and the girls were laughing at him. I was carving my initials into the picnic table with my car keys. Moon had a 35 millimeter camera and became the photographer to this acid orchestrated event and had a field day with the colors in this nature resort. I had my cheap old 110 camera and we both took a bunch of pictures. The girls were laughing and giggling down by the cliffs they had a strange sense of togetherness. Most mix-up kids do, because neither one of them had ever tried blotter acid before. I think it was hitting them pretty good.
grooves of the celebration. He was an old hippie who had been cool forever. Way back to the Johnson administration, part of the great society who was tripping peacefully under the shade trees, sipping a beer, basically left alone, though me and Skyler kept talking to him off and on. The acid had kicked in for everyone. And we had a togetherness that soared above the cliffs. And beyond the tree lines into the most beautiful colors imaginable. I'm